Usually we are unable to travel in the winter due to the copious amounts of snow, but this year was so tame, we had the chance to visit a few national parks in February. Sohoro National Park is one of the most amazing national parks I have ever visited. It is located just outside of Tucson and is currently home to over 2 million Sohoros. Sohoros are giant cacti that can grow up to 66 feet tall. They live for a very long time and often don't begin growing their arms until the age of at least 50 years old. They can only be found in the Sonoran Desert, which makes them a rare treat for those of us who don't live in the area. The National Park is divided into two separate sections. The Tucson Mountain District is on the east side of the city, and the Rincon Mountain District is on the west side. We did some research on the park and found that the most interesting side of the park to visit is the Tucson Mountain District due to its longer scenic loop drive, greater hiking opportunities, and gorgeous sunsets. When we got to the park, we first stopped at the Red Hills Visitor Center. Here, we were able to pick up a map of the park, explore the gift shop, and learn about the local wildlife and plants in the area. Learning interesting things. My bad gila monsters. Oh. Most people haven't seen them here. They're everywhere, but they're hard to find. Oh. Who knew? The visitor center also has some great overlooks of the saguaros growing all over the mountain. It's a gorgeous overlook and allows some fantastic photo opportunities. After spending some time in the visitor center, we made our way down the scenic loop road. Keep in mind that part of this road is not paved and is very bumpy. While there are tons of fantastic places to stop and walk amongst the cacti, our absolute favorite trail was the Valley View Overlook Nature Trail. This short 0.8 mile round trip out and back trail will give you the chance to get up close and personal with these giants. After a while, your hike through the desert will be rewarded with an absolutely breathtaking view of the saguaros covering the valley below. I literally gasped when I saw them and immediately took as many pictures as I could. If you want a majestic place to watch the sunset in the park, this is it. We arrived at the park in the evening, so after we explored a few more short trails, we headed to our campsite for the night. The following day, we had the opportunity to visit the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. This place is incredible because it's not just a museum. This 21-acre plot of land contains a zoo, aquarium, aviary, botanical garden, and so much more. To begin our day, we headed down the first trail we saw to see the animal exhibits. At first, given our wintertime visit, there actually weren't too many animals to be seen. After searching for a while though, we did eventually find some wildlife, including wolves and coyotes. There's not too much to complain about though. Even if you don't see a ton of animals, you are greeted by an amazing variety of plant life and of course, the famous saguaros live in the museum too. There were tons of birds to see in the birds of the Sonoran Desert and the hummingbird aviary sections of the museum. We not only saw a great variety of birds and wildlife, but noticed they had some fun exhibits for the kids to interact with too. I tried out one of the interactive exhibits at my husband's request. Ah! <laughs> what did Walter say? <laughs> the final area we decided to visit was the aquarium and the reptile house. Given the rareness of Gila monster sightings in the wild, I was so excited to see one up close and personal. We were also amazed by the variety of both desert animals and aquatic wildlife that are native to the Sonoran area. We also learned how important the freshwater rivers are that run through the desert into the Sea of Cortez. Both the rivers and the sea are essential to the health of the Sonoran Desert. Without these waters, the desert would not receive the moisture it needs to grow the incredible plants that call this area home. Visiting both Sohoro National Park and the Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum was incredible on our two-day trip to Tucson. They both provided us with amazing information and perspectives on an ecosystem we initially knew very little about. I hope we have the opportunity to visit this gorgeous area again soon. Are these the sights you would see if you came to the area? Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to learn more about amazing places to visit as well as other outdoorsy activities you can do on your own or with your family. Thanks for watching.